What's up everybody? This is James and I've kind of wanted to make this video to kind of tell you that there has been some news going on in the world of Final Fantasy XIV within some communities that isn't exactly all that great. So recently it's been brought to people's attention that a very popular um, thing called G-Shade has been in the spotlight for some very awful reasons. Now, I won't talk about them so much in the video itself, but in the video description, I will link to a series of tweets that you can read yourself to kind of um, see for yourself what I'm going with. Now, with that said, after reading all the stuff that came from it, I wasn't exactly comfortable with running G-Shade anymore, so I promptly uninstalled it. And um, while I thought contemplated using reshade and other sort of things as well, a thought came to me. I have a graphics card on my computer, and it's got some stuff I can use to, you know, give a different experience when running Final Fantasy XIV. So, why don't I show you what I'm do with my graphics card of driver settings in order to give a slightly different picture that you may or may not be able to see um, while on a console or normally via PC. Now, this is going to get a little technical, maybe a little technical, and I'm not exactly the most advanced user when explaining these things, but I will um, provide as much information as I can for first glance, and you can see for yourself what you can do about it. Um, but I know not everyone has the graphics card I do. I know a lot of people don't, so your experience will definitely differ if you have, say, an NVIDIA graphics card or an Intel Arc graphics card. That is because what I'm using is an AMD graphics card. So, I'm only able to show you what it looks like on the current AMD Radeon software um, settings you can do to kind of give yourself a different shade of the world from your view. That way you can also not only stay within TOS compliance, but also take advantage of what your graphics card can do on PC. Because, I'll be real, I'm pretty sure if Square Enix took any action against AMD, NVIDIA, or Intel for this sort of stuff in their graphics card engines, that's a fight they will lose in court. So... Yeah, I don't. I think AMD's in the clear here. Now, what you're about to see on the screen right here is, boom, AMD Software Adrenaline Edition updated to the latest version as of the time of the video recording. Uh, as you can see, I'm running on a Radeon RX 6700 XT, and yes, I'm showing my mouse here because for the sake of the video, I want to see you to see some settings I have for this video. I've been doing it. So what we're going to look at is, in addition to obviously having FreeSync turned on and if you want to use VSR to maybe give yourself 1440p uh, as an option on a 1080p monitor, you can do that or whatever you want. Any of these settings really don't matter. Um, now, for this to work, obviously, Vivid Gaming has to be turned on for this to work because it gives like a bit of a boost, in my opinion, to the colors um, that pop up. But we're also going to do a couple of other things here. Um, and before we get into the nitty gritty here and what some of this does, um, just make sure of all the overrides. You do make sure you never turn off HDCP support. I know DMCA and frickin' uh, Digital Rights Management DRM is a pain in the butt, but I'd rather keep this on just so we don't mess up anything and stay in the cold. I've never touched these things. I'm not sure what these do. If you're an expert on this and you fiddle with it, then go for it. But by all means, that's on you. We don't have any custom resolutions yet, so... And I'm currently running this on 1080p at 60 frames per second, so this is just a bit of a base for what we're using this with. <coughs> and as you can see, I am suffering from a bit of an allergy thing. It's whatever's in the air, so apologies if I sound raspy or start coughing. Uh, anyway, this is, and as you can see, I've got programs here. I'm using just the game, AMD software, and recording with OBS. So, huh. Shout out to OBS. Anyway. What we're doing is making sure to turn on custom colors as well as color temperature control. Now what this does is it can change the... Okay, so you can briefly see my Viera in the background. This will change the color that it appears on the screen here to match the... to match the temperature you'll see. I'm not sure how in this recording will show, but... At least on my end, you can I, I can see that the more I go, it gives it kind of a yellowish tinge to it. Kind of a golden tinge when I go lower. And the more I go higher, it'll go off a more bluish tinge, almost gray. So it's like a difference between hot and cold. The lower you go on the color temp, it'll be hotter for some reason. 
and the higher you go, it'll be cooler for some reason. So I'm going to find a little happy medium around here somewhere. The base is like 6,000 or so, or 6,500. So I'm going to bump this up to like 7,100 for now. And brightness, this determines how bright your display will get. Now, the reason I don't think it's showing up in the recording right now is because it's on user and so this will pop obviously depend on your monitor as well so be sure to take advantage of any monitor settings that your computer monitor may have or display or television has as well to make sure you get a comfortable shader or lighter effect light effect to your liking on the entire display now what you, now what i'm doing is a global display thing so it'll show up across my entire windows on i'm using windows 10 by the way I haven't made the jump to 11 yet, so that's not a problem for me right now. You can adjust the brightness to um, see what it'll look like on your display. Uh, actually, a thought came to me. We're going to hop to the other monitor here so you guys can get a better demonstration of what I'm talking about. See? There you go. Yeah, that's better. See? We'll start again. We'll go cooler and then hotter. As you can see, maybe this might may or may not show up in the recording, but there you go. Okay, so what we'll do is, there you go. Now, of course, you can also type in the values you want by hand, and you don't have to rely on any cheap tricks. There you go. Now, let's do that. Let's just copy this over for the sake of the video. Okay, there we go. As you can see, uh, the temperatures are all lined up here. So, uh, this display, the other 1080p60 monitor I have, a VSync, uh, FreeSync is not supported. So, you're not going to have that. And since it's just a regular monitor, I just have to turn VSR off on it. So, and this is connected to it via DisplayPort here. And this is connected via HDMI. So, you'll have these options if you're connected to an HDMI uh, outlet on your graphics card. Um, now, the thing is... This will, this is, what I'm showing you right now will only work on AMD uh, compatible graphics cards uh, with the latest version of Radeon Software Adrenaline Edition, which is, uh, let's, uh, let's check. Let's check. It is 22.1.2. And you can see my specs here. I'm running on a Radeon RX 6700 XT, a Ryzen 5 5600X, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, um, everything's up to date as far as I'm concerned so and there's not really any sensitive information you guys can look use this up here to see any other details you want with your hardware or software but we're not going to get into that today so this is a thing that I would recommend you guys do if you want to not use G shade if you don't feel comfortable using G shade or reshade or anything of the sort you can use the Radeon settings in your graphics card to the same effect as you would a shader and they're external too if you want to use it but bear in mind like Square Enix has said in the past um, third-party tools are definitely not permissible uh, when it comes to affecting the game in any sort of significant or meaningful way now they don't use now at the time of this recording they do not have anti-cheat software and I don't think they have any plans to implement it at this time but that could definitely change in the future so please bear that in mind however I think stuff like Discord or OBS or obviously stuff with AMD, NVIDIA, Intel graphics um, adjustment settings on your side, on the computer side or your monitor, I don't think that sort of third-party tool ban extends to that. That's a meme that is not a good meme at that. I just, nah. Besides, those are big major corporate entities or companies or brands that I don't think Square Enix wants to deal with that. So, yeah. If you're using Discord to talk with your team, you're fine. Like for the sake of communication, you're fine. If you're using um, OBS or Streamlabs or Stream Elements to stream and record your stuff, you're you're good for educational purposes, obviously, or for you know for your own personal use. If you're using Intel, Nvidia, or AMD stuff to um, make your video or to update your how things look on your side with color variations that's obviously kosher in my opinion so yeah you're not gonna get in trouble for using those so if 
if you have the GeForce experience or whatever NVIDIA has, I would recommend going in there and exploring what options you have there. The same for Intel's Arc GPUs. Um, I don't have any on hand, so I can't speak for those. So I can only speak for those of us that have an AMD setup. Now, if you're a console user, I recommend maybe checking your television display and maybe seeing if the PlayStation 5 maybe ever has updates to change the color saturation or hue or things of that nature. Or, you know, just see what's up to your television. Again, consult with your television and monitor display um, uh, settings to see what works for you there. But if you're an NVIDIA user like me, a non NVIDIA user, if you're an AMD user like me and you just have the Radeon settings here, just Turn on Vivid Gaming a filter and then turn on and then adjust whatever settings you like. And as you can see, Rad's hand looks pretty neat. Looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah, this is without any G shade or reshade filter. This is just with whatever stuff AMD hands on hand. And it's amazing. I like it. Now apologies if the video gets a little choppy here. I did have to tab out of OBS in order to get this to work. So the frame rate may not be the most consistent, although at least on the preview side. I just hope it looks good in the recording. It doesn't look like absolute crud. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. This video is running on 11 minutes and I'm rambling at this point. So later.